It is 8.55 on your Monday morning and also 55 degrees. I like that symmetry, Tim. <laughs> it certainly is. Well, if you like that, you'll definitely love the symmetry into the afternoon okay. because it's just going to go up. It's going to stay very even, be mm -hmm. very comfortable through the afternoon. 68 degrees with a good bit of sun and clouds, kind of balanced out there. Comfortable conditions. Looking for temperatures tonight to drop down into the 40s under partly cloudy but mild conditions. Lynn? Tim, thank you. More than 1,200 people in Maryland have tested positive for the coronavirus, and 15 people have now died. There is an outbreak at a nursing home in Carroll County. 66 people have the virus at the Pleasant View Nursing Home in Mount Airy. 17 people were taken to the hospital, and a man in his 90s with underlying health conditions died. The facility is isolating patients and screening the faculty members. Baltimore City Public Schools announced its first case. A staff member tested positive at the historic Cherry Hill Elementary Middle School after contracting the virus three days after schools were closed. City officials say that teacher has not been on the school's campus. Multiple people are being treated for the coronavirus at Clifton T. Perkins Hospital Center in Jessup. But a spokesperson for the Howard County Health Department did not have an exact number, saying the patients are health care workers and inmates at the psychiatric hospital. Police arrested a Charles County man after they say officers caught him having a party two times. Sean Marshall Myers is charged with failure to comply. Detectives say they got a complaint about a crowd at his home on March 22nd and told him about the emergency order that prohibits gatherings of more than 10 people. Officers returned to his house on Friday night and say they saw him hosting a bonfire with about 60 people. Baltimore County expands its drive and go grocery handout to help families during this time. On Saturday, the line of cars went around the block. Week one of the program had nine pickup locations, but now there are 11 locations. On Saturday, they estimate they gave out 5,000 meals. They will do this every single Saturday. So find a map of the distribution sites at WJZ.com. And stay with us. We'll have much more news and weather today at noon, or you can get it online at WJZ.com.